Hello fish lovers and welcome back to my channel. I have decided that I need to know the exact concentration of CO2 in this tank. So this is why I bought a Tetra test CO2 kit which you see here. And this test is going to show me the CO2 concentration in milligrams per liter and this is what I want also from what it's writing on the label here uh, the optimum CO2 concentration in any tank for a, a good plant growth is between 5 and 15 milligrams per liter of aquarium water for healthy aquarium plants so I'm going to do the test and find out if I'm injecting enough CO2 in this tank for a better uh, growth in my plants and also maybe I can get rid of uh, my energy I do have uh, right over here I have uh, a permanent CO2 test but I can only read that by its color so if it's uh, a, a light shade of blue it's uh, that's mean it's meaning that uh, I do not have enough CO2 uh, light shade of green yeah. it means that uh, I have an optimum level of CO2 and a light shade of uh, yellow it means I have too much CO2 but I do not know exactly how much I have or how little I have and this is what I want to do next to find out the concentration of CO2 in milligrams per liter. This is what I found inside the test box. Two vials and two solutions for testing. One and two. And this little color chart here. So let me see what I have to do. This is my first time I do this. So rinse, rinse the test vials with sample water. Fill the test vials up to 20 ml mark with sample water. I already done that. 20. Place the two vials side by side in, on the white surface of the color chart. Test vial A if required for comparative purposes. Test vial B is required for the measurement. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I have to shake the bottle containing test reagent 1 and add 5 drops to the test vial B. And test vial B is this one on the right. And the bottle containing test reagent 1. So I'm going to shake this. And add five drops to test vial B. So this one to the right. So I'm going to do that right now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Shake the bottle containing the test region two, and add it drop by drop to test vial B. Shake vial B after each drop of rigid 2 and count the numbers of drops required for the color to turn pale pink. Hmm. Let me change this to, the, to this side. And I'm going to put A over here and B over here. So now I'm going to shake this uh, test bottle too and drop it drop by drop to test vial B. Shake vial B after each drop of region 2 and count the numbers of drops required for the color to turn pale pink. Okay, I will do that. So this one is 
2, you can see it here. I'm going to add one drop, one. I'm going to shake this a little bit. No, no color. I'm going to shake this again. So, two drops. The color is not yet pink. Three drops. Not yet. Four drops. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Not even now, the color is not not that pink. 10, 11, 12. So I guess this is it. It's a pale pink right now. So I added 12 drops of CO2 and the test is saying that the number of drops of test region 2 required to make the water turn pale pink is multiplied by 2 to obtain the CO2 concentration. In other words, 5 drops of region 2, so that means 5, five word, uh, or 2, is equivalent to a value of 10 milligra milligrams of CO2 per liter. So, Right now I added 12 drops, so 12 or 2 is 24, so that's uh, like 24 milligrams or CO2 per liter, which is uh, a little bit uh, higher than the optimum long term concentration in aquarium water. It's saying here on the test is between 5 and 15 milligrams per liter. So, actually my fish do not show any sign of intoxication there. But maybe I should do the test again. Just to be sure. So I'm going to fill this uh, up again with 20 milliliters of water and going to add the test solutions again because I think about 10 or 11 drops should be enough but I'm going to do it again so I added new aquarium water in test vial B right here after the first test so I'm going to do the test all over again just to be sure So shake the bottle containing test regent 1 and add 5 drops to the test vial B. So this one is 1, shake it, I'm going to add 5 drops into this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 drops. So I'm done with this, I'm going to put it aside. And now, shake the bottle containing test regent 2 and add it drop by drop to test vial B, so this one. Shake the vial B after each drop of rigid 2 and count the number of drops required for the color to turn pale pink. Once test vial B has remained pale pink, see color chart. For 30 seconds, the measurement is completed. It's compl completed, it says here. And the CO2 concentration in milligrams per liter can be calculated. So I'm going to add. So one drop, shake it, 
two drops three four drops five six so I have six drops now seven eight it's getting there nine drops so now ten drops so ten I think now the color it's more likely like the one on the color chart so it says here to look through the, the glass put it over here so I'm going to put this on the white side look through this and compare it with the color over here so let me do that now mm, almost so I have 10 drafts no I think it's okay it's pretty hard to determine the color here especially in this kind of light let me close this so it is a a, 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 a lighter shade of pink so I had 10 drops by now Let me just put another one to set B11. So I have now 11 drops to see if this color is more like the one over here. And I think it is. No, it's, it's much uh, darker. I don't know what you guys think, but I think now it's much darker. So I'm going to say that 10 drops of uh, this test uh, region, regent is enough. 10 or 11, maybe you can guess, but I'm going to say that 10 was enough. So right now I'm going to calculate the CO2. So 10 or 2 is 20. So right now in my tank, I have, sorry about the mice in my, in my room, I have 20 milligrams of CO2 per liter. And it, uh, it's a little too much for my plants needs. The optimal long-term concentration in aquarium water is between 5 and 15. So I have 20 milligrams per liter and that's over. So I'm going to reduce my, my number of bubbles per minute that are getting dissolved in my tank. And I'm going to do that right now from here. This is my CO2 bubble counter. Like I said in my previous videos, it does not contain water. It contains oil, which does not evaporate. And this is my CO2 tank. It's a big industrial one, super big and heavy. I'm going to have CO2 for many years <laughs> from this tank. So let me lower this.
maybe like so. I think it's lower now, yeah. It's going much slower. So this one is going by wire, by these tubes here, all the way to my tank. And this is where it gets dissolved in my tank. You can see the bubbles becoming smaller and smaller as they flow to the top. And my CO2 gets dissolved in water and goes to the plants. But my plants are not in that good shape because of the brown algae that's covering them. So anyway, yeah, the bubble count slow down a little bit. It's much slower, slower than the beginning because 20 milligrams of CO2 per liter of water it's too much. This is what the test is it's saying. So I'm going to leave it like this for now and test it again in a few days just to see. To see if I can get a 15 milligrams per liter concentration. I don't want too much CO2 because it can definitely kill my fish. I almost killed my fish back when uh, I had discus. So I know it's absolutely deadly. Like I was uh, saying, I do have a permanent CO2 test in here, but it does not give me any numbers, just a color. And right now it's like uh, a green to yellow color and that means I have too much CO2 and that is correct based, based on uh, the test that I did right now with my Theta test CO2 that is saying that I have like 20 or maybe 22 milligrams of uh, CO2 per liter in the tank because I added like 10 and also added a last, a last drop of regent so 11 drops in total so it's between uh, 20 or 22 milligrams of CO2 per liter and this test is also a pretty good way to tell if you have too much CO2 as you can see it's a greenish color like green, green to yellow like I did see this uh, this one uh, this color really green sometime but I added I was adding much lower CO2 in my tank Thanks for watching guys and uh, subscribe for more do it yourself videos and leave a comment if you have any questions.